어, 지금부터는 우리 어, 황성현 목사님의 인지식을 시작하도록 하겠습니다. From now, we're gonna uh, do a service for installations uh, for Reverend Sun Hyun Kwan. Beloved in the Lord, we have come to install a minister of word and sacrament in Christ the Holy Church. Christ alone is the source of all Christian ministry. Through the ages, calling men and women to serve. By the Holy Spirit, all who believe in and are baptized receive a ministry to witness to Jesus as Savior and Lord, and to love and serve those with whom they live and work. We are investors for Christ, who reconciles and makes the world. We are the salt of the earth, we are the light of the world. Following his resurrection and ascension, Christ gave gifts to the church. These gifts were that some would be apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors and teachers to equip the saints for the work of ministry, for building up the body of Christ. We stand within a tradition where God calls and empowers deacons, elders, and ministers of the world and sacrament. As these three offices are united in Christ, so also in the church. One office is not separate from the others. The minister of word and sacrament does not serve without the elders and neither without the deacon. Together, they enable the whole mission of the church. Now, uh, elected elder uh, Song Chan Jo, uh, come forward and would you introduce uh, the Reverend Song Han to the congregation. Hungarian Church of the Reformed Church in America, with the guidance of the Holy Spirit, has called Song Hyun Hwang to be its pastor teacher. Ije IJ Gudon e Hangyeol Gyoe Nen, Song Hyun Nim e Indo Asine Da, Hang Song Hyun Moksa Rul, E Gyoe Hye Moksa Wa, Gyo Sa Ro Chan An An Pai Nen Da. Church. They are to proclaim God. 
God's word to declare forgiveness through Jesus Christ, to call publicly on the name of the Lord on behalf of the whole congregation, to celebrate Christ the Holy Sacrament, baptizing and presiding at the Lord's Supper. They are to be pastors and teachers, sharing people's joy and sorrow, encouraging the faithful, recall those who fall away, helping the sick and the dying. Reverend Song Hyun Hwang, you are here to be installed as pastor and teacher of this congregation. So all may know you are both willing and able to accept this call to ministry in Christ the Church. The class is to ask you to reaffirm the vows you made at your ordination as a minister of word and sacrament. Do you confess together with us and the church throughout all ages your faith in one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit? Yes, truly the Lord my God. Do you believe in your heart that you are called by Christ the church and therefore by God to this ministry of word and sacrament? Yes, surely in all my heart. Do you believe the books of the Old and New Testament to be the word of God and the perfect doctrine of salvation, rejecting all contrary beliefs? Yes, surely with all my heart. Will you proclaim the gospel of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, upholding the witness of the Holy Scripture against all seasons and heresies? I will, and I ask God to help me. Will you be diligent in your study of Holy Scripture and in your use of means of grace? Will you pray for God's people and lead them by your own example in faithful service and holy living? I will, I, and I ask God to help me. Will you accept the Church's order and arguments? Submitting to ecclesiastical discipline, should you become delinquent in either life or doctrine? I will, and I ask God to help me. Will you be loyal to the witness and work of the Reformed Church in America, using all your abilities to further its Christian mission here and throughout the world? I will, and I ask God to help me. Will you strive to fulfill faithfully, pleasantly, and cheerfully all the duties of a minister of the Christ to preach the word of God in sincerity, to administer the sacraments in purity, to maintain proper discipline in the household of God, and to shepherd the flock faithfully? I will, and I ask God to help me. Now, uh, I invite Reverend Imus Wu, uh, he's going to give Reverend Han the charge. I was so excited to come here and have my solutions. Beloved servant in Christ, be attentive, attentive to yourself and to all the flock given to you by the Holy Spirit. Love Christ, be his lamb, tend his sheep. Be an example in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, in purity. Attend to reading, prayer, study, preaching, and teaching. Do not neglect the gift that is in you. Put these things into practice. Devote yourselves to them so they all may see your progress. Pay close attention to yourself and to your teaching. Continue in these things, for in doing this, you will save both you, yourself, and your hearers. Reverend Song of God, God who has been entrusted to you, and when the chief shepherd appears, you will win the crown of glory that never fades away. Now will all the members of the Church rise? Let's rise. To affirm that your covenant with the ministry of God has given you. Beloved in the Lord Jesus Christ, do you receive the name of the Lord, this servant, Reverend Samuel Juan, to be your pastor and teacher? Yes. 
Do you promise to receive with meekness and love the word of truth with equal claims? Do you promise to honor his authority, welcome his pastoral care, and follow as he guides you in serving Jesus Christ, the only head of the church? Do you promise to encourage and pray for him to labor together in obedience to the gospel for the honor of our Lord Jesus Christ, the unity, purity, and peace of the church, and the welfare of the whole world? Do you promise him such financial and personal support that he shall serve among you with joy and not with grief as long as you cover them together? Beloved people of God, receive with joy your ministry in the Lord. Remember God speaks to you through him. Receive the word he shall preach to you as it is in truth, the word of God. Respect those who labor among you, esteem them highly love because of their work. Let those who preach the gospel of peace, bringing good news and announcing salvation, be beautiful and pleasant to you. Thank you for, I want to, the, the question and answer for my part, but uh, <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm going to make a declaration. Um, in the name, in the name and by the authority of classes of the Greater Tennessee, I now declare that the pastoral relationship between the Reverend Song Nan Huang and Han Gyeol Church is fully constituted, and that the Reverend Song Nan Huang is a duly installed pastor and teacher of this church. Thanks be to God. You may be seated. Everybody could be seated. <laughs> 